Operation Repo. How dare you record me? Good evening everyone, we are officially in Oh my gosh In Croatia And guess what time is it? 12.08 The clock is here See that? I actually don't feel sleepy yet, which is kind of weird. So let me show you around because it's a pretty neat house. This is what you did earlier, half smile. Wow. You made us sleep until 11 o'clock in the morning. Well, she slept till 11 o'clock in the morning. Well, technically, in England, it's still 10. Because it's an one hour ahead in uh, Croatia. 11.43 in Because it took me a while to wake, get, up. wake up and get ready. <laughs> Anyways, good morning, everyone. We are absolutely excited to explore Zadar. We're getting pizza. Yeah, he's been talking. He's been raving about it. No, uh, Airbnb host. The owner actually said, pizza. Because she's vegetarian as well. She doesn't eat meat. And she's like, well, pizza. And now pizza. he can't stop thinking about pizza. Pizza. So today we are going to the old town and we're going to explore. We don't have any specific plan. We're just going to walk around. Zadar, it's, it's probably not as common as where most people go to, but still heard a lot of great things. Our plane was packed. It was packed. Lots of people are coming. Maybe it's just me. I haven't heard of it that much, but I'm excited. What have you heard of in Croatia? Zagreb, Dubrovnik, Split, Pula, because you said that. Hey, Jika. Okay. I don't know why you said it like I kind of know what I'm talking about. Why <laughs> this big as big as face. Vegetarian pizza, like what he said. Now we're just on the curb with a view. Our first meal in Croatia. We have like a New York pizza. Same price. <coughs> I'm kidding. It's so slippery. You going quick off with Yeah. We're definitely gonna slip. The walk continues, and so far, I'm absolutely loving it. <laughs> Next stop is one of the most famous tourist destinations in Zadar. If you visit the waterfront, you'll be able to see this sea marine organ. It produces sounds created by movement of waves and tides. So don't miss out on relaxation and having some nostalgic or melancholic music. Sitting on the stone by the waterfront is such a perfect spot just to enjoy the sea and the marine organ. Also the same architect created these panels that absorbs energy in the morning and then produces light at night. So we're still walking around. I bought myself a hat because it was super duper warm. But so far so good. I really like Sadar. Um, it looks like a Roman town to me. And I like that because this buildings and architecture is just makes you feel like you're in Greece or somewhere.
this place is very beautiful. I'm just super happy right now that we are in Croatia. Um, definitely visit Croatia, the dark, even though it's not one of the top places that people would probably recommend. This place is beautiful. One of the things our Airbnb host suggested is to try ice cream or gelato in Zadar. So we went to one of the top places called Aroma. They have tons of flavors to choose from. It is expensive to be honest. We paid around 4 euros each or more. With that said, I personally think it is worth it. It suited our palettes and we went back for more. After a whole day of roaming around, we decided to go back to our Airbnb area so we can grab some dinner. So we saw this place and they serve some pretty good food. It was cheap as well because it's away from the center. And yeah, we enjoyed our night. As you can see, Josh is having such a great time. And I think this is the only party he would ever do in his life. Because he doesn't party. Alrighty, we are ready for the beach. Josh is in the back counting some coins. And I don't think I'm gonna plunge because I don't really have the bikini bottom that fits me. So I don't know if I wanna show my butt by wearing my thongs. I, I think that's very not me yet <laughs> but i'm gonna get some more tan for sure to make my body well tan even i heard good things about the beach i have high expectations so we're gonna judge it we're gonna judge it from one to ten now we're gonna see how beautiful it is guy was nice enough to give me some watermelon maybe because my titties are out I'm kidding but watermelon tastes good in this very sunny sunny weather this is why socks and shoes are superior <laughs> would you wear your shoes while you're on the beach I have before Alrighty, we're done with the beach because we are wanting to get some massage and it would feel really really awkward getting a massage when you're sunburned. That would hurt so bad. After the beach, we decided to go back to the old town. Josh told me that he found out that there's a bubble tea shop. However, when we got there, they don't have the bubble tea. So I just got this drink with some bobbing or popping balls, whatever you call it. And right across this bubble tea place is a gelato place and of course we got some because you know we're on vacation. After that we went for more snacks and this is one of the suggested snacks while in Zadar. It's seafood, it has fish, it has calamari My and fries. I, I was in heaven. Right, it's so good. Just walk after eating the fish. Oh heck no! I just told my brother and he said, Ooh, that looks so good, oh, yummy! Disgusting. <laughs> your brother don't know what he's talking about. After all the deliciousness, it is time for us to go ahead and relax. So we went to the mall and found a massage chair. And oh my gosh, I love a massage chair. I want one. I want one. Head massage. Oh, that feels good. Massage is over. Oh no, we want more. Get us more fight. No. <laughs> so we are heading back to our Airbnb to drop off our stuff and we're going to the little store near us to grab some water and then order some food through what? Then at 8 p.m. we have a movie date. To watch Thor the Love and Thunder. Oh, I do have the piece. Action shot. What are you doing? 
So we got our food for the evening and I got myself some burger and some fries. It was a truffle burger. It was so good but I was not able to finish it because we were in a hurry or else we will be late for our movie day. Good morning my love! I'm up in the window so we can surprise you because we have an open door. It is day three here in Zadar, Croatia! Josh and I looks like very beachy, you kind of match. Mine's better. We just went to the bakery and got grabbed some um, bread for breakfast because Josh said he's about to pass out. So. I was lying. I just want food. I want you to hurry up. Wow. Alrighty, to begin our day, we had our brunch. We absolutely enjoyed our pizza bread. Then I caught Josh doing all these things. It's actually very, very cute. I love it. After our quick brunch, we continued to enjoy the old town and we stopped by this place called Art Cavana. We had some dessert and I had some mocktails, pina colada, it was good. And uh, I've been really wanting to get it. Then finally time for our most awaited massage that didn't happen yesterday. But anyways, here we are and I love the aesthetic of this place. It makes me more excited to get some massage. For our last night in Zadar, we wanted to do fine dining, so we went to this place called Four Kintuna. It has such great reviews, and when I got my food, I saw my octopus and I tasted it. I could still remember the char-grilled taste of it, and Josh's fish was so good as well. We were both really happy. We would gladly pay for this food again. It was mwah, chef's kiss. What happened? You killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Then to end our evening, we went to the beach side where there's tons of tourists and we didn't know that this is actually one of the things that people do in Zadar when they're visiting to see the sunset. And so we joined the fun. We saw this melancholic, beautiful sunset. Oh,